Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's your friend C.L. King. And let me see how this sounds, make sure it sounds good. Sometimes you don't like to have these things on your ears because it just always feels like studio production, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just want to not have them on there. So let's see if I can do that without the buzz. Happy New Year to you, Brother Ron. Man, surely receive that. The blessings of the Lord overflow out of the cup. So here we are. We're at the, the precipice of the close of another year. I'm sure my friend Ron has seen a few of these in his time. <laughs> And it's like, you know, the more every time these things come around, it seems like you're reflecting and saying, wow, these are coming around with more frequency than they used to. Seem like years used to just drag on and now they they seem to be coming around all the time. It's like these pesky new years showing up. That means in February, I turn another year older. And so... Uh, I want to give going on 70. Wow, and you still look 40, Ron. So, so thankful for people like you who invested in my life 30 plus years ago. I was placed in the third foster home that I lived in back in the early 90s. Wait a minute, I went with Miss Plowden, Ruth Plowden, not Miss Plowden, Mom Plowden in, I think, 88, 89, and Ron came into my life then, so he's from church on the North Coast, got to spend time with him and his family this year, and the church on the North Coast family, and these are people who made an investment in me without regard to my background or pedigree will always, always, always hold them in high esteem. Ron is a bit, um, <laughs> you never have to wonder where you, where you stand when you talk with Ron, <laughs> but that's that, that's that Ohio-ness, you know what I mean? <laughs> so love you, man. Appreciate you so much. So I wanted to talk to you today about the power of the pink dinosaur. And we concluded around my house, we took a poll and we said, this is going to be a dinosaur. I don't really know what it is, but <laughs> it's gonna be a dinosaur today. We tried to make it a rhino, but I think the horn on a rhino is up here. And so 
I wanted to talk to you today about the power of this, this stuffed animal and how it relates to our lives. Are you ready for this? I was shaving today and Sadie Bug was on the bed with my wife where Sadie Bug often finds herself because she loves Nana and Papa. And she was sitting on the bed and doing what only Sadie Bug can do. Sadie Bug is our youngest granddaughter. She's 15 months old. She had us captured and amazed at just her humanity, her curiosity, her spontaneity, and her willingness to bring joy into every moment that we spend with her. That's what Sadie Bug does. And this little dinosaur came into the picture of the cadre of things that were strewn about my bed as Sadie Bug was up there watching me in the adjacent bathroom shave. She could see me clearly. I was in her direct line of sight. And she had this dinosaur and she dropped it on the floor. And she said, she dropped it and she said, uh-oh. She dropped it on the floor and she said, uh-oh, which caught my attention. And here I am shaving, shaving cream on my face and I'm just like, I need to go pick up the dinosaur because our bed is like six feet off the ground seemingly. It's gonna be tough to get into when we get old. But she drew, she threw it on the floor, she dropped it on the floor, she said, uh-oh, and Papa put his shaving uh, apparatus down and went over there and picked up the dinosaur. It had been too high for Charity to have to get off the bed. I was already on the floor. So I went over there and picked up the pink dinosaur and went back to shaving because I had a 12 o'clock virtual appointment today. And so she dropped it again and said the same phrase. Uh-oh. And as I was shaving, I realized that Sadie needed my assistance yet again. And so I stopped what I was doing, put my shaving blade down, and went and picked up the pink dinosaur for Sadie. And returned back to the all-important mission of trying to shave so I didn't look like, you know, Sasquatch on my virtual appointment. And as I was continuing on through the corridors of my face, I hear again, uh-oh, and Sadie dropped this pink dinosaur again and again and again, her message was, uh-oh. And Paul Paul stopped what he was doing, went and picked up this pink dinosaur, placed it back in her possession. And I was thinking as I went back for probably the last time, God, what are you trying to say through this precious little child. And I realized that Sadie began to understand that when she dropped the dinosaur and cried out for help, her papa was going to come regardless of what I was doing, although it may have been important to me. Her call to me was far more important. And I want you to know that your Heavenly Father is the same way. Sometimes things drop in our life 
and they are by our own doing. Sometimes things fall apart and they are at the hands of the fingerprints. They are, they are our cause and effect life, that we are the cause and the effects are things fall, relationships fall. And when we make that call to our Heavenly Father, sometimes it's just a mention of his name. Sadie didn't have to give me this long dissertation about why she dropped this pink dinosaur. She didn't have to give me a big old exegetical study on the way gravity works in relation to the height of my bed and the distance to the ground of this dinosaur. She didn't have to even compel me to see that what I was doing was less important when she called. It, it, didn't, ref, it didn't register in my mind that all it was was a plush pink dinosaur. What registered in my mind was that she said, uh-oh, and knew that after a series of attempts, her papa was going to come and pick up that dinosaur, as he did in times past, with no judgment, with no saying, now Sadie, stop dropping this dinosaur on the floor. Without any, without any giving, making her give me a rationale for why she dropped it. Simply hearing her say, uh-oh, when she continuously dropped this dinosaur, that was enough for me to come to her aid. And I think sometimes people in life who have seen who have seen the fallout of things that they have dropped the balls that they have dropped the pink dinosaurs if you will that they have dropped and they leave them there because they're too far away to get them and they don't know what else to do what i'm going to tell you is call on your heavenly father you don't have to give him a long dissertation for why you need him. Because when he hears, uh-oh, he will stop ensuring that the celestials in, are in order. He will stop holding back the sea that he may was getting ready to release in a tsunami. He'll, he'll stop everything that is important in the heavenlies. When you call on him, he'll answer. The beautiful thing about Sadie Bug is she dropped this dinosaur, this, this, this pink dinosaur, 10 or 15 times. And every time she said, uh-oh, and every time Pawpaw came to her rescue. I'm telling you, what's dropped in your life? What has fallen by the wayside in your, in your world? And you're clamoring to try to figure out the distance from the drop is too far. It's too great. It's, it's too hard. I can't. I can't, I can't pick it back up. No, but a simple call to our Heavenly Father. He'll stop everything important in heaven that he's doing to come without any list of conditions and say, I'll pick this doll back up. I'll pick this situation back up. I'll pick this life back up for you. I'll pick this marriage back up for you. I'll pick this job back up. And I'll put it back in your hands again. In 2024, you don't have to wait till 2024. It's 2023. Maybe some things have fallen away in your life. And you're looking to find a way to close that gap and that distance. A 15-month-old today showed us the clarity and accuracy when Jesus said suffer not the little children for theirs is the kingdom of God out of the mouths and babes thou hast perfected praise this little girl didn't realize that she was teaching her nearly 50 year old grandfather a very simplistic lesson 
that when things fall away, when things fall, it's time to call. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. We look forward to seeing you on the other side. And if things fall before then, just say, oh, oh God, I need you. He'll be there. God bless you.